Uh, can you give us a second, baby? Yeah, I'll wait out there. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Mm -hmm. So, this is Jocelyn. I'm glad you got to meet her. For the record, I wasn't keeping her from you because I was afraid you were going to hurt her feelings by being judgy. I think it's hilarious when you're judgy. It's because I was afraid you weren't going to like her. You and I are close, and I... I value your opinion. Well, she seems great in our limited interaction. Maybe you could get to know her better over Kevin's rice this weekend. That would be great. You might want to save your girlfriend. She's talking to Hitchcock. Damn it! Hitchcock! So I joke about my father so much to avoid processing all the pain he's caused me. Yes, you are doing such great work here. I'm really feeling it. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry, but our session is coming to a close. I guess I'll have to bill your widow. Wow, that is cold-blooded. I gotta hand it to you. It's a pretty dope kill line. Unfortunately, no one will be billed, though. Isn't that right, Charles? Hi, Dr. T. What? How did he... Told you I could text without looking at my phone. So glad you got my message with the location. Pretty impressive, right? No, actually, you just texted a bunch of crazy, weird, random letters. It made me concerned, so I tracked your phone. Well, still pretty good. I found you in my contacts. It went to Amy. She forwarded it to me. Eh, it works. Let's stop talking about it. Listen, I'm sorry. I guess you were right about the therapist. Yeah. Well, that's nice of you to say, Charles. But actually, when I was stalling Dr. Tate, I started talking about my parents' divorce, and it felt really good. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but... I think I'm gonna make an appointment with a shrink. Jake, that is so great. And I know a guy who's really good. You will love having him inside of you. Okay. What? Oh, come on, mister. Grow up. Get your mind out of the gutter, you perv. Stupid.